I'm domiciled in Europe. She's in Ghana. I've collected the list concerning marriage. She's now telling me that her pastor is telling her that the marriage will not work. This is someone I've planned my entire future with. I'm confused. What should I do? Olivia, what should he do? <laughs> okay, so this is what I think. Um, two things. Um, this girl, right, if she's in a position whereby she trusts the pastor, everything the pastor says is final, right? There's no way you can convince her. And it will be unfortunate, but you will have to let her go. Um, because she's in a position whereby, you know, um, she trusts the pastor. Whatever the pastor says is, you know, you'll be fighting a losing battle. But having said that, I'm not saying that don't, don't try. But I don't think that, you know, your love may be enough to make her hold on to you. This is, this is what I think. But if the pastor has just said it, and um, she doesn't feel too obliged or, you know, I mean, he just said it. I, feel, I still think that there's also another opportunity whereby you guys can actually move past what the pastor said. The question is, are you ready to fight for her? Are you ready to make it work um, and make her see reason um, with what you're saying? Um, I don't think it's a lost cause. You can try. But my thing is, if she wouldn't listen to anything else and she'll listen to the past, I don't think you should pursue it. Um, but see where she's coming from and have that conversation with her. It's either you or it's, it's the pastor. And I just feel like love shouldn't be forced. Um, if she thinks that the love that she has with you is good enough, she should be able to marry you irrespective of what people are saying, irrespective of what her mom is saying, what pastors are saying, X, Y, Z. Um, everything else shouldn't matter but you. And um, you should matter. The thing is, after speaking to her and after she said that to you, I'm wondering what you also said back to her. Um, and um, because your response to it is very important. And also finding out what her response, what she also said, it's also very important. Um, but I don't think that um, you should let it go that easy. Uh, but don't fight too much too for it if you feel like you have to force her to be in the marriage with you because she, should something go wrong, she'll, be, she'll say that uh, the pastor said it. She should have listened to the pastor. And Charlie, that's the last thing you want because however you want to look at it, relationships have up, ups and downs. Okay, you don't want when something tiny happens, then, hey, breaking news, you run to the pastor. When you guys even have to have sex, hey, you know, the pastor should just go and ask the pastor first before you guys can have sex. Like Charlie, sometimes these things can be a little bit overrated. You want to be able to enjoy your relationship. Having said that, there are actually good churches out there. And they're actually good, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking for everybody. There are good mosques and, and good, you know, institutions out there who don't do this kind of thing. And um, Charlie, some way. But um, <laughs> fight for it, but don't fight for it too hard. That's all I can say. All right. Um, you don't want the pastor meddling up in your marriage. That's all I can say. Mm. Curious, Tina. I mean, if by the time you were going to get married, a pastor said that the marriage would not work, would you go ahead? Just putting ourselves in this guy's. Oh, shit. okay. So me personally. Yes. Oh, I wouldn't mind them. Okay. So I think what it is is the importance you place on whoever speaks with you or whoever advises you. And also how independent you are mm. in your thoughts process. So this is my thing. Um, we have people we respect. We look up to and, and, and we were brought and shaped up in certain environments. So i.e. she was brought up in a Christian environment. Of course she has um, pastors, deacons, elderly people in the church who sort of guide her apart from her parents. So this is my my thing their opinions matter mm. but to what extent so when you're growing up and when you're 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 taking time to make decisions and all that how independent are you yes you listen to everyone's opinions and and advice and then you now sit down and say okay mommy said a daddy said a but pastor said c 
So in my opinion, I actually think I'm gearing towards C. So I will have a conversation with all of them and say, even though you said A, B, C, and D, I, I actually want to go with B. Right. So you pick everyone's thought process, but yours is paramount to everything that goes on. Okay. Now, even though the thing, uh, the, the, the message was very short and, and, and straight to the point, it, it lacked a few things. I, I want to know whether she came to say it as a worry or she also said she agreed with the pastor. Mm. Like, you know, sometimes you can be having a conversation with a person that you're going to get married and say, married with, and you say, oh, eh, and can you imagine even this pastor said that the, the relationship wouldn't work? Mm. It could come across like that. Right. Or, eh, pastor so and so says that I really, it won't work. Mm. Oh, should we pray about it? Or what should we do? It could be that one. Or Pastor Susa and so said that it won't work. So me, I don't I'm even done. think we should mm. we should go ahead, we should do this. So we we need to know how it was said. And that's how we can approach it. So if it was said jokingly or she was making fun of it, then this is this is somebody who you know that you are building a life with. She she would bring everything to the table. You guys can have a conversation and laugh about it. If it was said in the second manner that I was saying. She's showing concern. Of course, she respects whoever is in her life, the authority in her life. So she's bringing it to the table that, listen, it's something that a pastor has said. I think we should take steps in praying about it. Mm. Or we should do things that would not bring disgrace to our relationship. So that's number two. Number three is, I've taken it as totality. That is what I'm working with. If she is behaving that way, then that one you can't do anything about right. it because it's a long distance relationship. Mm. If you were here, you could have even proven yourself. You could have visited the pastor together. You could have even found out why 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 the pastor is saying such a thing. But since you are not here, <laughs> you are not in the game. Mm. Long distance relationship is hard. It's so hard because you don't get to, you know. Just the physical. Yeah, the physical. Yeah, it it means a lot yeah. to, to interact physically. So everything can be taken out of context, you know. Mm. And sorry, you are not, you, you said you've built your whole life around this person. That's a big mistake. Mm. Sure. Do things for you, don't do things because of someone. You know, a lot of people. It's actually good to do things because of someone, but it's, it's, it's essential that you find peace in that and you, are, you find joy in that thing that you're doing. Don't say you're building your whole life around one person. And then tomorrow, if the person leaves you, what mm. do you do? Mm. And then you're stuck. You don't know where to go because you fitted the person into every scenario. So please, the first thing you should do is to mm. clarify the context in which she came came with whether it's conversational or um, final and then if it's final now start looking for your plan or oh, please whatever it is just start thinking that listen wh what if she's not in the picture what do I do right. start thinking about yourself yeah, plan B. do you want to build a life in Ghana well, regardless of her so you are getting a place. It shouldn't be where she wants. Mm. It's where you want. Right. A job. It's where you want to work. What you want to do. Start making that plan because you need to be independent in your thought process. So that's all I have to mm. say uh, uh, about this. Yeah. yeah. Very salient points. Gail, do you have any to add to this? Oh yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> we said five years, right? Yes. We've been building a relationship for five years. Where was this pastor? Hmm. Where was he? Like, <laughs> like, I don't get it because, yes, I mean, we, it, it takes two to tango, right? And of course, we have other factors that, you know, um, make the relationship, you know, look good. Maybe family, support, friends, advice. If you're religious, maybe your pastor or like Olivia said, maybe your, your is it mom in the mosque? Yeah. yeah. So fine. But at the end of the day, it's the two of us who decide what we want to do. The pastor was not in the picture. You guys built so much um, um, communication and compatibility and everything. Five years and out of the blue, you've gone for the list 
and in our in our tradition, when you go for the list, that shows that yes, family have come together. Yeah. We've mm-hmm. decided. So I don't get how suddenly he comes in to say. So I'm thinking maybe the lady wants out. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. I think she wants out because for even to for her to come and tell you that after all this you received everything, family has decided, and then you say the pastor. I think she wants out, and she cannot tell you. Mm. Possible. Yeah, I think that's what's going because at the end of the day, I mean, even if whoever tells me was happy, they tell me some witches are planning to mess it up. And at the end of the day, like you said, when she asked you, you said you won't, you won't take what's uh, oh, no, 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 no. So, and I won't do either. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, what I want is what I want, right? Because to build a life with someone for five years, I'm not saying if it's not working out after so many years, you can't opt out, but mm-hmm. I'm saying that for me to put in so much to that point, I don't think I'll just. Listen let to one go. thing just someone just said, and let it bother me or shake my foundation. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. So I think that she on her own, because she's an adult, she, she decided to be with you. So if she's telling you, it means that she wants mm-hmm. out. So for the guy, he has to start preparing himself mm-hmm. mentally. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, I um, mean, it, it, like I said, it like, takes two to tango. So if she comes later and tells you, I'm taking, I'm, I'm listening to what the pastor says. I mean, you, you mm. have to be prepared. Right. Yeah. Because it's going to happen. That's mm. how I say it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so that's actually the first thing that crossed my mind yeah. that hmm, this girl probably does mm. not want to keep the relationship yeah. going. And she was looking for an excuse. Yeah. But I mean, even if the pastor did say, mm. um, I'm, I'm, from where I sit, like, I'm putting myself in the girl's shoes. Yeah. I'm not even sure I would have told the guy. Especially yeah. if I know I what keep I it, want. I because because there's nothing that it doesn't... Say, hey, yeah, for know, me, it wouldn't then, carry yeah, much weight. And especially if I, I know who I'm, I'm going exactly. with. And, and the thing is, yeah. there are no guarantees in life. Mm. Absolutely none. So if... So the pastor saying it won't work might actually be true. Yeah. But does that mean you shouldn't try Exactly. Mm. That's a whole new conversation sure, yeah, altogether. Exactly. Trust me, they even pastors whose marriages have failed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You get it. A so lot of yeah. them. it's not easy. Marriage is a whole different level. And if you're not ready for the level of commitment, the sacrifice, the it work. will come yeah. crashing down. Yeah. And There's it's not several, because of what someone yes, says. Exactly. Yeah, There's yeah, several there several examples yeah. around us. Yeah. You know, so yeah, okay, it may not work, but that's okay. Mm. At least run your course. If it doesn't work for you, you try it. And you yeah. accept your responsibility. <laughs> and you accept responsibility for it. For it. Okay, so mm. I'm not sure about this lady. Um, mm. If she's still pushing the whole pastor agenda, mm. let it go. It's unfortunate that you built your world around her. But Charlie, you know, <laughs> life happens. <laughs> it is you know. It is. So my brother, just uh, sit tight and uh, talk to her. If she's not willing to, you know, okay, pastor has spoken, so that's it. Let her go. Yeah. It will have married a pastor then. But you will heal. <laughs> yeah, we should ask that question. Whether yes. the pastor is even mm. single. Maybe mm. that's yeah. pushing his own happen. agenda. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. yeah, you that never is. know. Yeah, yeah. We never know. stories like that. Where mm. We hear it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates. Sister Sister, every Friday at 9 p.m., only on City TV.